एवरीवन दिस इज प्रयाशा दास फ्रॉम क्रैक्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वील बी डिस्कसिंग दिस एट 2022 डिसीजन मेकिंग सेक्शन सो एज डिस्कस इन द पोल द मेजॉरिटी ऑफ यू वांटेड द डिसीजन मेकिंग मैराथन टू टेक प्लेस and uh, uh, before starting this video i would like to tell you three things which you need to keep in mind before we start with this uh, number one is that uh, it's very difficult to conduct the live sessions and do this because the maximum of the questions which i can do in the live session would be two sets that is six questions in one hour uh, because i'll have to also wait for your answers and responses and meanwhile there will be lots and lots of questions popping up regarding the other aspects of that and other aspects of other examinations as well so that consumes a lot of time and i'll not be able to cover up the that 2022 paper i have to cover seven sets remember here 21 uh, questions so therefore keeping this in mind i'm just uh, making it in the video format and second thing which you need to keep in mind is that one very essential thing is that i am solving here just like i solve or i make notes like remember the last video which i gave you on note making of decision making how to make notes and understand the trend or understand the way how they are taking answers to be correct we have to do the same thing in 2022 paper you all know that that 2022 dm section is the most disputed section to be very honest because more than 5 6 answers have been changed uh, in this uh, particular section last year so that's why this led to the discrepancy between the answers options throughout the websites and also in my videos also so those two live sessions in which i have taken up those 2022 papers uh, i will be uh, i let's see what we should do with that video but then right now this is the current video in which i'll be discussing the similar questions but with the latest answer key and since we know the answer we will try to analyze this is analyzing the pyq okay the name says analyzing the pyq so we will be analyzing that why did this particular firm believes that this is the correct answer okay so we'll go like that in this uh, approach and i believe that you people will pause the video and look at the question if you haven't read it yet because i have already given you a homework in my previous decision making videos that you have to go through that 2022 paper if you haven't done that then uh, you can just pause the video and see and if you can remind yourself of this question which was related to a doctor and an suv then well done we'll be discussing that over now okay and i will use the same approach i used to use in the examinations so that you get a better picture of how to go about and how to do this questions and uh, there was one again question from someone who asked uh, that what is the ideal time for uh, us to spend in the decision making section well it's quite volatile to be very honest because uh, it totally depends upon the set and at the same time your proficiency someone is very good at decision making so they will take lesser time for someone who feels that their accuracy is more than 70% in the decision making sets please finish the decision making section within 35 minutes not more than that okay and the ones whose accuracy is slightly less than 70% in majority of uh, the mocks then uh, you people like whose accuracy ranges from 50 to 70% should not spend more than 50 minutes on the section should not okay now 50 minutes is too much i think 45 minutes but then the ones whose accuracy is miserable you guys can spend a little more time close to 50 minutes okay so uh, this is raghubir the doctor's case with suv that is suv is no longer compliant so what will he do if you remember the case okay and i am going to do what i am going to give a quick read to it just like i am going to see in the examination like i i literally have forgotten all these questions now so i'll have to uh, read it quickly in front of you and I, it will be as similar as an examination okay so what i do always is i read the passage without doubt i don't go for the questions first so let's get started the passage says raghubir a reputed doctor practices medicine in the three tier city some information will always be helpful to you so just to know is this is called as uh, the information gathering technique what things should come in your mind is who is the doctor and where is he living he owns an imported suv which he bought 10 years ago he used his uh, using his hard earned savings for nearly 5 years acha tell me one thing everyone why do you think that this sentence is added after uh, the information that he bought it 10 years ago this sentence added in this passage is only to you know exaggerate the point that how much he is in love with the suv because we buy cars but uh, there are few people who are not so attached to the cars but there are few people who love their car like anything and the reason behind that being is suppose this person has earned it 
Uh, means earned this car, you can say that he has worked for five years incessantly and then gathered the money to, uh, you know, purchase this SUV. So of course, for Raghuveer, his SUV is everything, right? Initially, he used to take it for long rides, but now it's uh, for last six, seven years, he only commutes to his clinic a ten minutes drive. So now this is also. Uh, emphasizing on the point that अभी उसका use case कितना कम हो गया है, okay? He is just using it for a 10 minutes drive. The SUV has been his proud possession, but it demands high maintenance. Also, the diesel guzzling SUV does not comply with the new emission norms being introduced in the Tier One and Tier Two city. तो ये दोनों अभी सिर्फ Tier One and Tier Two cities में ये norms निकले कि भाई हम इस तरह के diesel guzzling uh, SUV को नहीं comply करेंगे. Of late, a new a uh, few newspapers reported that the new emission norms may be introduced may be introduced in the tier 3 cities as well so this news has worried raghuveer raghuveer is afraid that once the new emission norms are rolled out he might not be able to use his suv anymore so chinta ka ghar okay which of the following options will best will best put raghuveer at ease so we have to put raghuveer at ease matlab usko relax karna to koi aisa option select karna hai jisko पढ़कर रघुवीर को लगे कि अच्छा चलो मेरे पास अभी भी टाइम है इस तरह की चीजें विथ यूजिंग हिज एस यू वी फॉर मोर टाइम सो हाउ वुड वी डू दिस लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द करेक्ट अप्रोच वॉट आई डू इज आई फर्स्ट स्टार्ट फाइंडिंग गुड पॉइंट अबाउट एवरी ऑप्शन एंड उस बीच अगर इफ आई कम अक्रॉस एनी ऑप्शन विच इज कम्प्लीटली आउट ऑफ द वे आई एलिमिनेटेड लाइक ऑप्शन ए हिज मैकेनिक अश्योर्स इम दट द न्यू नॉर्म्स विल नॉट बी इंट्रोड्यूस एनी टाइम सून Mechanic assuring is definitely not very correct, but at least someone is assuring. So there is at least one positive point in this option. Let's go to option B. His lawyer friends in his city recently bought the non-compliant SUV from Tyre two cities only. So what have their uh, what have these uh, lawyer friends done? They have bought it from the city where it is actually where the norm has actually been applied, and they have bought it from there only. What does this shows? This actually shows that norms तो निकल गए हैं but apply नहीं हो रहे हैं so it's not strict in the tier टू city and if it's not yet strict in the tier टू city फिर तो tier थ्री की बारी लेट में ही आनी है पहले norm आएगा फिर छह साल बाद लोग लोगों के लिए कंपलसरी होगा सो दिस कैन बी अश्योरिंग थिंग राइट ऑल्सो ऑप्शन बी हैज सम पॉजिटिव पॉइंट ऑप्शन सी हिज सिटी हैज मेनी अदर एस यू वी विच आर एज ओल्ड एज हिज ओके I will say that there are positive points here, but there is one major missing, and that major missing is diesel guzzling SUVs. Okay, like him is also not written in the uh, option. If you check, his city has many other SUVs which are as old as him, not like him. So the problem lies in the diesel guzzling SUV, not uh, the older uh, SUVs. It's not that earlier only diesel guzzling SUVs were coming. no petrol version was coming so it's not true right so this is a lack of information so i will definitely go and eliminate this option in the very beginning where i came here for a positive point but i got a very major negative point so i'll remove it as as a sought after doctor all the law enforcement officials are his patients now this is unethical in all its ways so just because your patients are law enforcing officials you are not going to stay assured for this this is unethical you are gone non compliant sups are still plying in tier 2 cities aha uh -huh. this seems again assuring that okay there is something positive that abhi bhi is tarah ke suvs tier 2 mein chal rahe hain to tier 3 mein aane mein time lagega now there was a discrepancy in this option only so earlier the answer was e but now the answer is not e so we will now use the negative approach so one round done one round done what happens in one round in one round we understood that what are the positive points about a b and e and how c and d are out of the game now between a b and e i will like to find out the negative points kya galtiya hai so that i can get on a better place and i can get to an option which has lesser amount of mistakes in it okay so if i talk about a the assurance given by the mechanic will not be the only source of assurance for uh, raghuveer just because mechanic is saying now mechanic uh, is saying this okay okay aisa nahi hoga and then when it happens mechanic is like hum kya hi kar sakte hain so this is completely uh, not 100% assurance or so you cannot say that 
इट विल एक्चुअली बी अ लॉन्ग टर्म अश्योरेंस लॉन्ग टर्म अश्योरेंस लेके चलते हैं सो दैट इज आउट ऑफ द गेम नाउ बिकॉज मोर नेगेटिव पॉइंट नाउ चेक बी एन ई His lawyer friends in his city recently bought the non-compliant SUVs from Tire Two Cities, and Option E says that non-compliant SUVs are still plying in the Tire Two Cities. Now, to be very honest, I want you to have a quick analysis of this and tell it yourself that look, that earlier purchased SUVs are still running on the road is, let's say. 50% assurance okay that okay i bought it 10 years ago other people in tire two cities also bought it around 5 to 5 10 6 years ago and they are still driving it that gives me 50% assurance ki ye to chalega but what about the assurance given by those people who have recently bought it from the cities where the norms are already released now what does this show this shows that even after releasing the norm पुराने व्हीकल्स तो चल ही रहे हैं वो तो छोड़ दो नए व्हीकल्स भी बिक रहे हैं दिस इज अ मच बिगर अश्योरेंस इज इंट इट दिस इज लाइक अ 90 परसेंट अश्योरेंस की कंपनीज अभी भी नॉन कंप्लाइंट एसयूवीज को टायर टू में बेच पा रही है दैट शोज दैट हाउ लेस स्ट्रिक्ट द लॉज आर राइट सो फर्स्ट वॉट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ अप्लाइंग एनी लॉ दैट फर्स्ट द न्यू परचेजेस विल बी और न्यू सेल्स विल बी स्टॉप and then the ones which are already moving on the road will be asked to stop so step 1 he clear nahi hua hai to step 2 tak aane mein to bahut time lagega and that is more assuring or more correct over here lesser problems with option e and uh, you know uh, like i mean more problems with option e and lesser with b so that makes the answer as option b in this case that's the recent answer according to the uh, revised uh, window or objective window jab khula tha objection window uske baad this is the revised answer that option b needs to be the answer because if we compare these two options we see that usse hame zyada assurance mil raha hai okay best put raghuveer at ease now we'll take quickly so this was the first question so i spend a lot of time here telling you how to get down to the answer but now it's just going to be quick okay i will just assume i'll not explain you i'll assume that uh, i am doing the paper okay so i'll just tell you why am i eliminating one of one options okay and you guys are expected to understand okay anya's raghuvi's daughter works in a metro city she is concerned about the private transport emissions and is unhappy with her father's diesel guzzling suv though she wants her father to be more environmentally responsible she is aware that any drastic suggestion might attract strong resistance hence she wants a solution acceptable to raghuvi that gently dissuades him from using his suv on a daily basis okay so over here in this question what are we going to do in this question we are going to un understand the uh, Uh, we have we are going to suggest this raghuveer to stop using this suv and the following actions by anya will best dissuade raghuveer from using the suv on the daily basis what what should anya say so that he stops uh, using his suv request raghuveer to use public transport for his daily commute and use suv sprangly that's a very simplistic approach and i don't believe that uh, this would you know really be taken into consideration there is no positive point which i see over here so i'm going to directly eliminate it because it's difficult for raghuveer to use public transport right that might involve a drastic change which she was uh, thinking that will attract strong resistance now ask his mechanic to explore if the suv can be retrofitted with a cng kit well this option is something which is highly expensive hmm it's just like setting up a new engine so uh, it's a very expensive option but still a positive one so i'll still keep it into consideration take away raghuveer's suv to the metro city and gift him a new suv uh, this suv was so special to him because he has invested his 5 years of earning into it we already discussed it so this will not be a possible case for us gift raghuveer a small petrol car convince him to sell his suv not possible ask raghuveer secretary to ferry him to the clinic daily in her car except for the weekends now do you understand the difference between public trans using public transportation and getting ferried by someone 
if someone is giving you a lift every day in his car only is in his car only please understand he will he will be giving like she will be giving him ferry in her car only so it would not matter to his reputation much now i know that earlier this answer was e uh, like uh, something uh, not e of course so this will be now i'll start pointing out the positive so answer released by xlri is option e to be very honest okay and we will see what makes option e and option b uh, you know different so let us compare option b is an expensive option okay too expensive so the problem which i find with option b is expensive option e what is the problem it might hurt the reputation of the doctor that uh, the secretary is uh, taking or giving him uh, lift every day so that is one uh, problem with here that reputation is an error or problem over option e now we'll try to think something more bad now option b if i do this it will be expensive but look at the question again this dm is more like va uh, va okay so the uh, sentence says explore if if the suv can be retrofitted can be so there is a possibility what is there there is a possibility it might turn out so there is a 50 50% chance there might be a condition when the uh, mechanic will come and say nahi hoga didi so what will what will happen then no choices right so there is a maybe condition over here but is there a maybe condition over here no of course his secretary has a car and see it's not uh, it's not mentioned that uh, it will not be a possible as, uh, activity ask raghuveer secretary to ferry him ask him to do that the question is not that ask raghuveer secretary if he of if she can ferry him to the clinic if is not present in the statement so this is a 100% assertive sentence okay getting it point that means they are you are ordering the secretary to do that that you are going through this line take my father and go <laughs> okay you are ordering and here you are asking so there's a difference okay and therefore option e is the new correct answer please understand this guys i know there has been changes in the answers and therefore it's very important for us to understand ki in logon ne agar answer change kiya hi hai to kya reason ho sakta hai so if you don't talk to yourself and tell yourself ki why is this answer correct you would not be able to you know guess the answers in the coming paper so please try to follow why is it considered to be correct okay now we'll take the 29th question over here and uh, finish the first set look it takes time uh, for me to explain the sets to you so i don't want to keep it like okay answer is a option a answer is b i don't want to do that because then there will be no use of watching this video right so maybe i'll divide this video into two three parts and then we will be uh, finishing the entire 2022 paper okay in this coming week itself so 29 number question what happens here is in question number 29 the new emission norms are about to get implemented in the entire three cities and raghuveer city will follow sh suit shortly now it's written already that this has been followed shortly hence raghuveer starts exploring the options of buying an ev and he lists down the following factors that will guide him on buying ev i'll not read all the factors i'll see the read the question first which of the following options will best help raghuveer buy an electric vehicle immediately I want to buy the EV immediately and which points will help me buy that EV immediately so that's an essential thing right now let's read the points and we'll start option elimination okay number p says EV within raghuveer's budget can cover his daily commute but not the long rides one negative sentence means that your answer will never start with a p and is there any option starting with p no very good uh, uh, question uh, now q number a uh, new electric suv in the market within his budget nearly has the same look and feel of suv va x ki yaad dilane wala present <laughs> just joking okay so uh, this is the most appropriate i will tell you the most appropriate so far to start with because ev hote hue gives you the feel and looks of suv so perfect right now third uh, r this is a correct correct option for me i'll start with q but i'll also check the other options r evs cannot be driven beyond the speed of 70 km per hour is a complete negative sentence sir what are you doing okay there are two negative sentences i have got so far so r will never, never definitely not start 
Now, S. New charging stations on the main highway connecting his city to the closest metro city may come up in another year. Is this 100% positive? No. It's just say 50% positive. Okay. Now, the only shop. So, will, will you start your answer with S? No. So, option E is already out of the game now. Now, uh, read option number T. The only shop selling S EVs in his city is ready to trade in Raghuvir's SUV at a reasonable price. Well, this is a determining factor, no doubt. But is it more motivating to purchase the EV than the point that his new EV looks similar to his SUV? No. So, definitely, this is a positive line but not as positive as Q. So my answer should start with a Q and uh, second positive thing is a T. And QT option is present only in one, that is C. So zyada time spend nahi karna hai. Kuch options aapko easily answers de dete hai. You have to just take that and move away. Okay, so here as you see, option C is the easiest and faster way to do that. Now I'll quickly take another set, okay? And this time I'll be faster. So... Please read this uh, set if you haven't read it yet. Pause the video, read it, read the conditions and read the question. So here is the question and you can uh, read that and then we'll start. Okay, so let's start. Future Leaders is one of the most prestigious private schools in a small town and next to Industrial Hub, most of his students come from affluent families. Most students are from affluent families, remember. But there are some who belong to a middle income and lower income families as well. So the school charges an annual fee of 2 lakhs uh, inclusive of all the charges payable at the beginning of the academic year and roughly 20% of the fees collected goes into paying the salaries of the teachers, another 30% into upkeeping the school and roughly 20% in miscellaneous expenses and running day-to-day -day businesses like supply cleaning and the remaining goes into the exigency corpus okay so this year the rest like the rest of the country the town has been hit by the coronavirus pandemic and the classes have been shifted online the local authorities have mandated that all the schools have to reduce their fees by 20 percent further parents should be given extended time to pay the fees if they are in financial distress Six months into the academic year and only 40% of the parents have paid even the reduced annual fees. So 30 number question asks you, Ajay Bishwas, the uh, rector of the school, okay, I think it's a... Uh, uh, wrongly written over here, director of the school, as uh, uh, is alarmed by the shortfall in the fee payments and directs to find the best solution to manage the situation. He does not want to trouble the parents who might genuinely be in financial distress now why is this sentence written samjo is baat ko samjo analyze it properly we are here to analyze not just to see the technique so what are you analyzing here what does this sentence mean anytime whenever we do case analysis now now i'm giving you my personal uh perspective jab bhi hum case analysis karte hai, we try to look at we never give a solution remember where we never give a solution we only give recommendations and that too in that recommendation, like first my, if there's a problem, okay, someone has a problem, I did my entire analysis using the various decision making techniques and I showed it to the customer or the client and I said, these are my recommendations. Now, what you value the most will be the optimum solution. So what is this uh, director of the school is valuing the most? He does not want to trouble the parents. So don't do, okay, he wants fees, but don't do anything which will trouble the parents, okay? Gen who are genuinely in financial distress, but feels that there may be a possibility that many parents are taking advantage of the situation. So he wants to grab hold of them. So which of the following actions by the school will best make financial capable parents pay the fees? Remember, financial capable parents are asked to pay the fees. So option A says call parents every three days requesting them to pay the fees and help their school out. Is this an irritating option? Of course, it is an irritating option. Okay, not a feasible option. So option A gone. Now option B, share through local newspapers that the school is facing financial crunch and may have to close down if the parents don't pay the fees. <laughs> Is tarah ka emotional kuch karne se, do you think people will be affected? Bilkul nahi. Agar aisa hota, then no one would have, uh, you know, smoked or had tobacco uh, 
uh looking at the picture on the packet okay so forget about that thing this will never help the school option b is also gone option c offer 10% and 5% discount to the parents paying fees within the next one week and two week respectively now see this to some extent looks a positive approach but i would like to tell you that they have already reduced their fees by 20% and are currently facing a financial crunch इस कंडीशन में अगर वो फीस और कम करेंगे तो उनके तो आप समझ ही सकते हो सो व्हाट विल हैपन इज यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड सो ऑप्शन सी इज अ पॉजिटिव थिंग बट नॉट अ यू नो इकोनॉमिकली फिजिएबल थिंग सो वी विल डेफिनेटली गिव सम टाइम वील कीप इट ऑन होल्ड एंड गिव गिव सम टाइम टू द अदर ऑप्शन ऑप्शन डी सी इज गिव अ टेन परसेंट बोनस मार्क्स टू दो पेड द फीस दिस इज एप्सोल्यूटली अनएथिकल what are you saying <laughs> so option d is completely gone now option e ask parents to submit a proof of financial distress within two weeks failing which they can be they can bar their wards from attending the classes is absolutely correct so this is gone out now we have our correct answer which is option e no doubt in this is very easy because uh, submitting the proof of financial distress is making the paper clear okay now 31 number quickly so what we will do then the next uh, set is the board of trustees of the school is concerned about the current financial situation and has called biswas for a meeting the trustees have thought of the following actions as listed below to improve the school's finances immediately again descending order ascending order wali cases bahut logo ne mujhe personally message kiya tha is uh, type ke sets ke liye so i've already explained one set in the uh, beginning this is another one this will help you so please have a look I'll not read the points first I'll read the question first which of the following combinations of the above listed actions in decreasing order of preference will best help biswas to achieve this goal of you know financial uh, in, financially improving the school okay decreasing order of preference what does that mean bahut logo ko to english mein bhi problem hoti hai na that's the major issue which people are facing right now that they have issues in english right now okay so what do you think is we should do we should go with the most preferred or the least preferred decreasing order of preference of course most preferred high to low is decreasing order so most preferred se shuru karenge now let's read the options p says appeal to the local industrialist to donate to the uh, school this is only appealing someone to donate will definitely not be the opening will it be the opening never okay you are just asking for money भीख मांग रहे हो मिल जाएगा तो अच्छा है नहीं मिलेगा तो फिर नहीं मिलेगा यू हैव नो अथॉरिटी ना क्वेश्चन पॉइंट नंबर क्यू विदाउट विथ होल्ड ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द टीचर सैलरी टिल सिचुएशन इम्प्रूव दिस इज एक्चुअली पॉसिबल वाई now look how is it possible like it's unethical to many of you the first option would be like ah it's unethical ma'am it's totally not fair why will we withhold teachers salary we are withholding we are not cutting the salary i actually asked this to my professor i was myself that person who was confused thinking this that we are cutting the salary here we are not cutting the please focus on the word they have used each and every word very very intelligently withhold withholding means aap is mahine nahi doge agle month doge that's withhold okay so withholding 20% of the teacher's salary till the situation improves that means whenever the situation is back in form they will get all of this their money in arrear okay so that is withholding so it's not a bad idea don't eliminate option c based on that okay because it's the only option starting with q now ask parents to pay up within a week or show a proof of financial distress people believe that this is the best way possible but do you think that it is definitely going to improve the situation no i'll tell you why this also i had a discussion with and guys there was someone who was saying that uh, professors ko bolo solve karne ke liye bhai kuch zyada nahi ho gaya that meme if you remember hai na wo free thodi baithe hain vele baithe hain kya wo log sare what do you people think like i just ask you so you will ask me anything out they are very angry on me to uh, you know share those things with you people okay so i might have to feel that uh pain to go through their uh, hard words so because of you people and now you people are saying that i'll offer them this they will kill me and they will bury me and you will not get to know about me also okay so better you don't ask for these things later 
<laughs> okay now uh, we'll start with uh, the option r so r feels very correct to most of you but the problem with r is that it will not lead to a 100% money uh, retention why 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 tell me why because you are asking the parents to pay or show a financial distress okay what if what if the 70% parents come out to be financially distressed only so to sirf aapko 30% paise milenge aur wo bhi 30% ka kya scene hai that you are asking them to pay otherwise you will not allow their child to attend the classes what if they say okay we don't want you to continue the classes so go so only 20% will turn up but the rest 10% are like go i am not a part of the uh, school right now so kya ho gaya 20% hi paise mil rahe but if you do this compared to r what will happen it's a sure shot way of saving money it's a sure shot way of saving money you are withholding people's salary so that means your 100% of saving this amount agar aapne socha hai ki aap withhold karke let's say 10 lakh rupaye rok loge to you are like 100% परसेंट दस लाख रुपए रोक लोगे लेकिन यहाँ पर इफ यू आर एमिंग की हम इतने लोगों से पैसा निकालेंगे तो देर इज अ वेरिएबल फैक्टर वेन यू विल कम टू कॉलेज यू विल रीड द चैप्टर कॉल्ड एज ह्यूमन रिसोर्स प्लानिंग एंड इन ह्यूमन रिसोर्स प्लानिंग देर इज अ वेरिएबल फैक्टर ओके इन वेरिएबल फैक्टर यू विल रियलाइज दट नहीं इसमें थोड़ी सी भी स्पेस है किस चीज की स्पेस है वेरिएट वेरियंस की स्पेस है थोड़ा सा चेंज हो सकता है तो आर और क्यू के कंपेरिजन में पैसा कौन ज्यादा मुझे डेफिनेटली uh, दे सकता है ऑफकोर्स इट विल बी क्यू सो वील स्टार्ट विद क्यू एंड गो विथ आर ऑफकोर्स इट्स ऑप्शन सी बट आई स्टिल एक्सप्लेन दी अदर पॉइंट स्टॉप ऑनलाइन क्लासेस फॉर अ वीक टू सिग्नल डेस्परेट फाइनेंशियल क्रंच इज नॉट अ गुड आइडिया ऑफकोर्स देन स्टार्ट एन एक्स्ट्रा सेक्शन इन एवरी क्लास एंड ऑफर एडमिशन टू हु एवर इज विलिंग टू पे द फीस इज एक्चुअली वॉट एक्सल आर आई नेवर डज ओके दिस इज वॉट माई टीचर टोल्ड मी दैट ही टोल्ड मी दैट लिसन डोंट यू थिंक दैट पीपल हेयर दैट एक्सल आर आई हेयर कैन स्टार्ट यू नो बी एड कोर्स एक्सल आर आई कैन स्टार्ट यू नो एनी सिंपल एम ए कोर्स ऑन सोशियोलॉजी on psychology why why is uh, um, like xlr are not doing this all our professors are gold medalists and phd's in all of these uh, special fields then why are they not uh, taking up classes or uh, adding more people that will lead to more money right now this was not the decision making sir i'm talking about this was my manager i mean uh, marketing sir who told me this that why is uh, xlr are not doing this why they are sticking only to those uh, few number of kids the reason being that is if you increase that just in you know uh, just to increase your present bank balance then it will lead to a drop in the image of the school especially it's uh, applicable to the educational institutions so here also if the school starts uh, you know new sections it is feasible i'm not saying that it's a bad idea but at the same time it's not something which is the first preferred idea so you can stop the online classes for a week just to show that we are desperate but then after that you are expected to appeal to the industrialist ki paise de do and the last option will be to start an extra class and the reason being that is you should not drop this reputation of the school by doing this activity i hope you all got it so option c is the correct answer now the last question from this set and i won't be able to take more questions so what i'll do is i'll come up with a part 2 of this video and maybe a part 3 also where i'll take another three sets and two sets and finish the dm 2022 fully okay so the last question over here talks about the teachers of future leaders contribute to their stellar reputation remember that the teachers are very important to them school moreover they assess the school in arriving at several critical decision and bishwas just sense their involvement in school matters bishwas does not like hmm as he has to listen to their collective voice rather than the other way around so bishwas feels that the current situation offers him an opportunity to get back at the teachers and he wants to discuss the possibility of reducing the teachers salary now here please pay attention to the word reducing not withholding reducing the salary by 20% with the board of trustees so which of the following if true will best enable biswas to present the case of reducing the salary so i have to select those options okay uh, option which will help me to support the fact that we should not pay teachers so much which option will help it two other well known private schools in the city are struggling to survive and has resorted a pay cut comparison 
now here why is comparison okay because until and unless you compare with your competitors you won't be able to make some drastic changes in your policies and procedures that's what we are learning in college right now as well option b future leaders pay higher salaries to its teachers in comparison to the other school don't you think that a and b are almost related looks like right i'll explain the difference first let's go to the other options now most of the teachers are alumni of the school and hence should be asked to give back to the school through a pay cut giving back to a school by a pay cut is not what we expect because teachers are working and getting paid it's not a humanitarian purpose they are serving so therefore it's not a good idea at any point of time okay then 30% of the most experienced teachers may resign if there is a pay cut is a problem not something which will enable biswas to take this decision so it's completely out of the game teacher salaries are a significant part of the school's operating cost is not going to say that the pay cut is okay okay they are also contributing to the stellar reputation so you can't afford you can't afford to cut it on the basis of the fact that it's a major part of your operating cost so now we are left with two options a and b to decide now a will definitely help biswas because here we are in a financial crunch the other uh, the other school city i mean other schools in the city were also in a financial crunch and how did they come out of this situation by a pay cut problem same hai solution copy karni hai bas that's point a and point b is not talking about a problem it's talking about a situation that already the other schools are paying less we are paying more than them then the other person there is a point of counter question right there's a point of counter question in option b where the person may say that okay you're paying us more because we contribute to the stellar reputation of your school come back to the first line teachers will come and say we are the contributing to your stellar reputation and that is why you people are paying us more than the others if we go to the other school we will contribute to the stellar reputation of the other school go 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 to hell so there is a counter answer possibility right so we will not go with option b we will go with option a because a may they cannot say anything right if they if the teacher will say that okay fine i will go and i will go to the other school so they will say like okay go to the other school they are also in the same problem and they have also reduced the salary to yahan se wahan chale jaoge to kya hi fayda ho jayega so this is the best possible thing for biswas please remember ethical ho unethical ho wo sab bhad mein gaya aapki values aapki thoughts bhad mein gayi here we are just going to see number 1 hum kiske respect se सॉल्व कर रहे हैं वी आर सॉल्विंग विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू बिश्वास हु वॉन्ट्स टू कम बैक ऑन द टीचर्स एंड एट द सेम टाइम वी आर सींग वाई ऑप्शन ए इज सेलेक्टेड एज द राइट आंसर इसके पीछे के सारे पॉजिटिव रीजन निकाल रहे हैं ओके सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर दिस वीडियो गाइज टू सेट्स वी हैव डन सिक्स क्वेश्चन नाउ इन द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो आई ट्राई टू डू टू टू थ्री सेट्स एंड देन द थर्ड पार्ट अगेन थ्री टू टू सेट्स एंड दैट विल लीड टू द कंप्लीशन ऑफ दिस कंप्लीट दैट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू डी एम सीरीज एंड आई रिलीज दम वन बाय वन नेक्स्ट आफ्टर ईच अदर सो दैट आप जब एक बार एक बार एक बार करके सारे वीडियोज देख लो एंड यूर डन विद इट ओके so the drill is common you guys know if you like this video you're supposed to like this video padhati ho to aap log like nahi karte main dekhti hu theek hai so this should not be the case you should like the video and share it as much as possible guys and if you are new to the channel do subscribe as well if you have any questions and queries please drop below in the comment section i'll be more than happy to take it thank you so much and please take care of yourself keep hustling